Hey, this is Idausa Ness. I am the creator of The Flow of Spanish. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the course. So if you decide to sign up for it, you'll know what you'll be getting into. First thing you should know is that The Flow of Spanish is an online e-course, which means you can access it from your phone, your iPad, your computer, as long as you have an internet connection. But there are also offline features where you're able to download the audio and train offline. Uh, so here is the login page after I've logged in. This is the kind of basic home page and it's my first time logging in here I'm gonna click here to get started and What we start off with in this course is a series of uh, primers To get you into the flow of things the first one will teach you about the training method But for now we're gonna skip ahead to what we call the sound system primer and our goal in this primer is to review the basics of Spanish phonetics, you know, nothing too complex, just very basic elements so you have an understanding of how you use your mouth. So first we learn about vowels and how you make vowels and how do you adjust your tongue position to get the correct vowel. Then we review what the Spanish vowels are. We use a lot of audio, a lot of visual to get a better idea of what each Spanish vowel is and uh, how to compare it to, you know, maybe similar sounds in English and what the differences are and really tune your ear to Spanish pronunciation of vowels. We also will look at, if you're an English speaker, what are some tendencies you might have in your pronunciation of vowels, and um, the things you will, most people will do right or wrong when trying to do Spanish vowels. Once again, you'll see a lot of audio. Then we'll go over all the consonant sounds that are in Spanish, at least the ones that are gonna usually trip people up who are learning Spanish, and uh, and then once we've reviewed all of the sounds of Spanish and all the basics of the phonetics, we will have your first recording activity where you record yourself um, saying the most important sounds in Spanish, and that's the vowels uh, along with a few consonants. But before we get into that process, I want to move on to uh, the song lessons. We'll go to Unit 2 and... Uh, in this unit, you'll be learning a song by an artist named Manu Chao, named Clandestino. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to quickly walk through the process I created to help you learn how to pronounce this Spanish lyrics, Spanish phrases with a perfect accent. And the first step is to go over the rhythm. And that's what these audio files do. When you click them and listen to them, you'll be chanting along with a very simple rhythmic version of the phrase. Once you have the rhythm down, you can listen to each syllable individually here. You know, so you have per, di, do, nel, co, ra, son. And your goal is to use this as a reference, but really listen to the pronunciation of the syllables here. Once you have the syllables and the rhythm down, your next task is to reconstruct the phrase bit by bit. So in these audio files, I have those syllables combined in chunks of three, chunks of four. And once again, you're going to chant along with me in the audio file until you get those things committed to memory, until you get your mouth you know, wrapped around those sounds. It'll feel awkward at first, but through practice, uh, your motor memory and your mouth will start to develop. Then finally, once we have it all broken down into pieces, we build it all back up together through the memorization process. We have these audio files, they start off combining lines. So you see, uh, we'll just be looping it over and over again. You'll be singing along until you get that committed to memory. Finally, when you're done, you come to submit. You'll be submitting recordings through a service called SoundCloud, which allows you to record yourself, save that recording online, and then share that recording with me so I can give you feedback. So I'll give it a try here. Perdido en el corazón de la grande Babylon. Now you notice too, you can either sing the lyrics if you really want to, or if you're not comfortable singing, you can just chant it the way I did. You know, we're not here to make you a better singer, we're here to make you a better speaker of Spanish. After you record yourself in SoundCloud, you'll get a page like this, and this will be sent to me 
and I will go in and listen to your recording and pinpoint the exact syllables and sounds that you're mispronouncing and then tell you exactly what you need to do with your mouth, with your lips, your tongue, whatever, to fix that error. So this is one student's submission of that same lesson we just went through. Perdido en el corazón. And listening to it, I can hear that instead of saying do nel, he's saying don el. So a very subtle difference, but important in what we're trying to accomplish in this course. And that's the kind of detail I'll be giving you on your pronunciation. You won't find anything like that anywhere else. And this is the process we repeat in every single lesson. You go through the content, do the training, submit a recording. I tell you what you're doing wrong. You submit it back to me with the fixed errors and we continue until you get it perfect. The whole idea is that the only way for you to really learn these things of pronunciation is to have somebody point you in the right direction and for you to do practice over and over again until you get it. Now usually doing things repetitively can be really boring, but thankfully we're using music. The environment is very fun and engaging and you will enjoy it and you will learn very quickly. Now a few more notes on the Flow of Spanish course. Along with the song training and the basic kind of phonetics, we also have a section dedicated just to what we call the tap drills. And basically the Spanish R sound is the sound that most trips people up in, in learning Spanish. And it's not just saying a sound by itself, but also saying it in combination with other consonant sounds. So we have a series of uh, drills for you to specifically target this weakness and strengthen it. And no matter how weak your Spanish R sound is right now, if you do these drills and you practice on a daily basis, you will have a very strong R. And personally speaking, I was not able to do this sound for the first 19 years of my life. One day I finally hit it, and now I can, I can do whatever I want with that sound. And that's all because I put in the work and practice, and that's what you get in this course as well. So that's it for this video. I hope you have a better sense now of what you'll be getting into if you sign up for the Flow of Spanish. I promise you there's nothing else like this out there on the web, nothing as in-depth, as personalized for your pronunciation errors. I'll be with you one every step of the way to make sure you get this Spanish pronunciation down. And once again, I have that 100% money back guarantee. If you are not satisfied with the training in any possible way, and I will refund you your entire purchase, no questions asked. That's how confident I am in this training. So yeah, I really hope to see you on the inside. Thanks for watching.